hello. Um, it's lovely to see you. Uh, yeah, I haven't been here in a really long time. Um, in like six months. And what was I doing for that time? I was learning all about toadstools. That's actually not true. Uh, I had a full-time job and it basically I had to work so hard that I had no time for anything that I liked to do. So I quit that job and <laughs> um, I'm back and uh, yeah, I'm going to be starting a new job in a little while, but not yet. <laughs> And hopefully that new job will be slightly less intense. <laughs> um, so, you may be wondering why I look like this. Well, it is autumn, my absolute favourite time of year. I just feel more myself in autumn. I love the smoky smell in the air and the crunchy leaves and oh, I love everything about autumn. As you can see, I'm in full on Halloween mode already. I have a lovely uh, pumpkin blanket and um, I just wanted to show you guys a quick um, Halloween look that is very cute. It's um, so if you just want to be cute at Halloween and you don't want to be too spooky, this is the look for you. Uh, this is a look inspired by deer. And I would tell you where I got these ears, but I actually made these ears myself. So um, if you want to know how I made the ears, uh, just send me a comment below and I'll make a video all about that because they're actually not too difficult you only need a couple of things um, my ears have turned out a bit floppy but you know if you're okay with floppiness then um, yeah let me know and um, yeah uh, without further ado let's get started Now that um, my foundation is all um, done, I also put it over my eye, my, um, my lids, I put it on my lids as well so it can act as a base. Um, I'm going to put on my powder. I use a nice light powder, this is the um, powder from Natural Collections, it's just a, a very standard loose translucent powder. Um, I really like it. I think it's very um, light and nice for people with drier skin, so that's why I'm I'm a big fan of this one. Um, so I'm just going to pop that all over, just to set the foundation into place. And you don't want too much, just a a little bit, because this this look is still fairly glowy. You want to look like you had some fresh dew fall on your face, so you don't want anything too heavy. And all down the neck. Oh, lovely. Uh, so I got a bunch of powder on my brows, so I'm going to do my brows next. Um, with my brows, um, I'm not going to do anything too different to what I usually do, um, but if you have smaller brows than mine, I suggest kind of trying to kind of brush them up and make them a little bit more fluffy, because I think a fluffy brow look is going to be really, really, um, really good for this. But I use the, um absolutely mank looking but I use the um, brow kit by Barry M in the medium to dark because my eyebrows are 
black, basically. Big, black, and bushy. <laughs> Um, okay, so my brows are done. As you can see, they are big, black, and bushy. Um, okay, so we're gonna move on to the bronzer. Um, so this is actually quite a heavily bronzed kind of look. Um, just gonna double check a few things. So it's very, it's very bronzy, it's quite warm toned, um, lovely for autumn. So I'm going to be using the classic um, Hoola bronzer. Obviously, um, I would say adjust what bronzer you use depending on your skin tone, um, but always go for something that isn't, isn't too orangey, I would say, that's just kind of a toasted sort of look. So I'm going to take the bronzer all up on my forehead, down on my, just a little above my, um, my jawbone, my <laughs> jawline, um, cross jawline and, well, you'll see, I'll take it in a few other places as well, so you'll see it's kind of a little bit everywhere, honestly, but bring it down cheekbones that's what they're called so a little, i'd say make it a little higher than where your cheekbone normally is to give it that kind of lifted look Frame the whole face, down on the chin, across the jawbone. Across the jawbone and everything just and blend it down the neck. I'll always say that because you want it to look fairly seamless, you know. Okay, um, so we're also going to do, oh, yes, we're also going to do a little bronzer up the nose and you want to take it actually quite far up the nose because we're going to be drawing on the nose later. So just all around the nose, it's hard to open. Um, I'm, this is a blush stack. I got on eBay um, Music Flower. I don't know exactly what the company is, but they have this lovely kind of gingery, I don't know how to describe it, kind of slightly brownish blush that's like nice and warm toned. And I'm gonna take just a little bit of that, not too much. I'm gonna take that up the bridge of the nose. And then I'm going to take a tiny bit of that on the cheeks, around the lips, all the way up the cupid's bow, and a little bit. Our face is well pigmented. I don't know if you can really see with the lighting, but we've very, very toasted. Um, so, um, I'm going to start uh, the, the uh, proper, the full-on makeup with um, the nose. And I just dropped my brushes on the floor. Fab stuff. I'm going to take this nice... 
and I have this I bought this once again I believe on eBay or Amazon or something like that it's just a very general kind of um, cream contour palette uh, it was not expensive and I'm gonna start creating the shape of the deer nose that, we're, that we want to do so I would take the darkest shade the one right at the bottom here and you're going to want to shape out that nose you kind of do a slightly heart shaped kind of shape here And you want to go for a kind of rounded shape. As you can see, it's kind of um, heart shaped right at the tip up there. I mean, up there. <laughs> um, yeah. Cute, isn't it? <laughs> Um, double check my image here. As you can see, we're starting to look a little bit more deer like now. Um, so then I'm gonna I'm gonna fill in that shape with a dark eyeshadow. This one is um, Own the Night by NYX. It's just one of their single eyeshadows. It's a lovely cool toned dark um dark brown so i'm just gonna fill in that shape with that um eyeshadow just so it's nice and set in place it's not gonna move anywhere get a slightly different brush Uh, that's all filled in it's gonna be nice and set because um I actually wore this look to a cabin in the woods themed escape room which was really fun but on the way there obviously we were wearing our face masks and everything like that and you do want especially if you're gonna be um, going to a party or something and you're gonna be wearing a face mask on the way um, it's really good to make sure your makeup is really well set with powder because it's inevitable. Makeup and face masks, you know, they kind of, they tend to wear off your makeup quicker. Um, so you just, you just got to be prepared, you know, and, and especially if you're going to be wearing a face mask, it's good to carry a lot of makeup with you so that if you're, especially this little nosy, if it gets smudged, you can just fill it back in again. Um, okay, so I'm going to be finishing up the nose by taking this uh, white eyeliner by NYX. It's called Epic Wear Waterproof White Eyeliner. I don't know if it has another name, but it's by NYX anyway. And you're gonna put like a little, just a little line there to make it look like it has like a little uh, wet nose reflection kind of thing that you see on a lot of cute animals. So it's just really, really effective. Um, okay, so now that I'm done the little nose, isn't it so cute? Um, okay, I'm going to start uh, doing the eyes now. Now, um, for these eyes, I'm actually gonna be trying out some new colors that I got in this mega makeup palette I got recently by Revolution London X Extra. I don't know how it's pronounced. It's XX something. Um, anyway, this makeup palette is giant, as you can see. <laughs> um, but before I uh, tip into that, hmm, 
I'm going to just um, use some more of the Hula 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 bronzer and a nice fluffy brush. You're just gonna start making, like creating a little bit of a um, a sort of elongated shape. So you're gonna take that Hula all the way across the eye. I'm working it into a sort of halo shape, so I'm kind of elongating it out like that. So you're going to leave a little space in the middle, but you're going to go all around the lid. Mm. You're going to want to just kind of, you don't have to um, blend it out yet. But you're going to want that kind of elongated shape to both eyes and you want to make it quite dramatic so both eyes you take the eyeshadow quite far up well not the eyeshadow the bronzer um so next step i'm just going to take this shade here it's it's quite light actually um it's going to lay that down there it's quite a light shade, but it's just a sort of nice, neutral, slightly pinkish brown, actually. Closer to that inner, that inner corner. Now, I'm going to just take a little bit of a... a darker warm toned brown. I'm just gonna frame that a little more. And you kind of bring it in tighter each time so that there's just um, less color each time so it's kind of like it's kind of like you're painting sunset if you know what I mean. So you start with the light color, the lightest color going across, then you have a slightly deeper color that's a little cooler toned and that goes in another arch but it's a little smaller and then you go for your smallest arch which is like a little um, cool toned brown. If that makes any sense you kind of go darker and darker until you reach the center of your halo eye and they kind of just add a kind of doughy shape to your eye so yeah it's like painting a sunset <laughs> right I'm going to take in my big giant palette I'm gonna take this kind of toasted glittery color it's sort of a um it's kind of brownish there it is wait there it is I'm sorry I'm working backwards um, it's that color there it's sort of a toasted kind of glittery color and I'm gonna put that in the center so you could just use a sort of gold or a bronze kind of color and I'm gonna use maybe a tiny bit of a slightly lighter highlight color slightly more silver color right in the center so yeah you end up with a really nice little blended shape the bronzer on the bottom as well on the bottom lid and you want to blend this out um, you want to take this kind of low low down So you take it, it's kind of grungy in a way, I mean not like very grungy, but it's kind of really nicely blended, really far down and very toasty. So, um, now I'm going to take just um, a nice pale kind of white shade, it's 
skin tone be white? You can actually use powder if you want to. Should be nice and blended. A shade a bit like this kind of thing. I'm just going to really highlight that brow. Yeah, there we go. It's a bit better. Oh, and you're going to take um, a little paddle brush here. And um, you're going to take these two dark shades on the lower lash as well. So the slightly less dark shade I'm going to put in first. I'm just going to put that along my lash line. I just love playing with eyeshadow. <laughs> So, our eyeshadow is pretty much done. Well, I think it is done at this point, yeah. So, um, I'm going to use my eyeliner now. And I'm going to get this giant, giant palette away. Um, I'm going to use my eyeliner. And you're going to want a shape that literally droops right down. You don't want to go up, you want to go down. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Because um, with eyeliner, there's often the temptation to bring it up. Um, that's not what we want here. Now, see with the wing now in a second. Just make sure you can see that. And you can see, it gives you this big, big doughy eye thing. I'm going to do the other side there, and uh, I'll see you in a second. Hello! Uh, so I'm back. I just finished the uh, eyeliner on both sides, so as you can see, it's, um, it's really cute and droopy, uh, so as I said, that's the shape you want, just straight down, no boop, it's boop, um, <laughs> and um, I put on some mascara as well, um, I suggest a nice big dramatic mascara for this look, kind of, kind of thick, um, I use the, uh, the, um, Essence Lash Princess, because just really good for the price you know and it's just been my favorite for like a couple of years so I just love it oh shouldn't poke my nose um so just to finish the eyes up I'm gonna take um oof, if I can open it um this is just the cat rice um 48 hour wear um eye pencil in white looks like this and I'm gonna just put that in the waterline to just really open the eyes up. Now, let me pop that back in. And I'm gonna take that NYX um, eyeliner, the white eyeliner that we used for this, this thing, this little reflective spot, and I'm just going to put that on the inner, inner corner, just like that, and on the other side. Now, uh, we're going to do some finishing touches before we do the lips. Um, basically, um, does and deers have white spots, white speckles. So we're going to do that on our, on our face, just like freckles. So we're going to just kind of... Now, 
and you just kind of do it lightly. Don't be too afraid of it, but just kind of lightly dot your face. My chin's too hairy for this. <laughs> Um, but just um, in a couple of places where you made the bronzer really heavy and you'll find that that is it works really well in contrast of the bronzer and that's why we kind of put so much bronzer on earlier was to really make these spots these uh, deer spots just really bounce out you know Ah, oh, it's good to have a cup of tea in the morning. All right, let's get this thing all done. Um, I'm gonna show you what I do for the lips. Oh, before the lips, you're not gonna wanna do too much highlighter, but I do love to use a little highlighter. This is the one I use for every look nowadays, which is the um, Diamond Bomb by Fenty. I think everybody uses this because it's just nothing better. It's just sparkly. You put a little bit of that in the inner corner of your eye. Um, I'm gonna put that on the Cupid's bow. Put on the, the um, temples. Oh. I'm sparkly. I don't know if you can tell. This camera's pretty good, but it's, um, you might be able to see the, um, the, the sparkliness, but trust me, it's there. Um, so I'm gonna put that away. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> right. Um, so first things first. I'm actually going to get a um, brown eyeliner. Gently go down the cupid's bow like that. Lovely. Like a little line. And you're gonna get like little bit of bronzer actually and you're just gonna kind of follow that line so it's just not quite as harsh it's there but it's not quite as noticeable and you're gonna blend it out uh, you're gonna put bronzer down your nose in a kind of triangular shape so it gets a little wider as you reach the lips and then then I'm gonna take, um, this is um, a liquid lipstick in the, the shade Candyman and um, it's just, it's in the Les Chocolates. If you've seen any of my videos before, you know I use this all the time. So you're going to cover your whole lip initially, but um, I'm going to take, this is also in the Les Chocolates, this is in the shade um, Coco Crush, Keiko Crush, something like that. It's a sort of um, darker brownish berry kind of shade, and I'm just going to take this on the upper lip. Uh, so you're just going to leave them a second to kind of dry. Now it's okay if you get a tiny bit of transfer because that's actually what we want. Because what we're going to do is we're going to very, very gently
blended out. So it creates this kind of graduating, graduation of color kind of look. I'm going to just leave that for seconds. Yeah, we're going to wait until it's kind of tacky but not fully dry. And we're going to take this shade again by NYX in the uh, Own the Night. Um, just a nice deep brown that's like a little bit cooler toned. And we're going to cake our kind of detailed brush. We're going to just pat that over the lip. The top lip specifically. And this will also help set. You can also put some powder over it once it's completely dry. Um, but it kind of, as you can see, it kind of matches the nose now, which is what we want. And it's going to really mattify it so that it's just kind of nice and um, set in place. Especially if you're going to be, you know, traveling out for a party for Halloween and you have to wear your face masks on the way. Um, you will, everything will be really nice and set in place. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, you know, it's like, it's hard to kind of get everything perfectly set because you know face masks are tough with makeup but it's something i'm trying to learn at the moment you know as a makeup lover but also as someone who wants to stay safe during covid mm. ah, hydration <laughs> okay so i'm going to take out these um braids that I have in. Um, as, um, as I've been kind of saying for a while, like I've been trying to learn how to do different heatless ways of getting curly hair. So I'm gonna see how this turned out. I'm sure it'll be kind of subtle. It's not, I normally prefer the, prefer the kind of foam rollers, but we'll see how it turns out. I'm gonna come back with the entire finished look. And I'll just sort of let you see my whole outfit and everything like that. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Well, I've returned with the final look. Um, I think my hair is almost looks kind of crimped, which I quite like actually. Um, so this is my whole outfit. I might try to put in a couple of clips of uh, my outfit more thoroughly and these are my lovely wings. Um, so I basically went for an outfit that would be that would be kind of the um, the deer sort of colors so I have like a nice brown shirt I have a long sleeved um, white top and I think it really suits and these ears these lovely ears aren't actually too hard to make so if you want a tutorial on how I made these ears do let me know because you can make kind of similar styles of ears you could do like any sort of cute mammal <laughs> um, but this is the uh, This is the finished look, so um, thank you so much for watching and um, I hope to see you soon. Bye!